Well, things have been sweet this mm -hmm. week on the Marquette campus, but the hope is the university becomes elite in just a couple of hours. Where we want to go. The Marquette <laughs> men's basketball team playing in the Sweet 16 for a chance to go to the Elite Eight. Fox 6 Brandon Cruz hanging out with some students, getting ready for the big game tonight. Brandon. Well, Brad, yeah, we're at the Marquette's Annex right now, and it is slowly starting to fill up. It just opened about a half hour ago as fans are getting ready for the big showdown with Miami tonight in the Sweet 16. Now, this is the place that fans have been coming to throughout the tournament so far to root on their team, to be able to be with other fans as they watch Marquette advance, and hopefully for them that this team advances again tonight with a win against Miami. But we were talking to one of the fans, and he was saying, it's just busy around here this time of year, and especially this week. I think it's just very exciting here on campus just in general. With the new Pope, um, just with it being Holy Week um, and having the Jesuit tradition here, and also just with March Madness and how um, avid Marquette fans are with their basketball program, I mean, honestly, I think everybody here on campus is excited for one thing or another. <laughs> And the fans here are excited for the basketball tournament. We did talk about Holy Thursday being today and if this is a conflict. And, and Stephen, who we spoke with, said, you know, it's not really a big conflict for him. He knows where he's going to be. That's right here watching the game. But he did say his other classmates are dealing with a conflict a little bit tonight with Holy Thursday and the game going on at the same time. Coming up at 6, we'll hear more from the fans as they get ready for the Sweet 16 game. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Brandon Cruz, Fox 6 News. Got a good feeling tonight, Brandon. I got a good feeling on this one. Yeah. You should. All right, thank you. Hey, Marquette fans, not the only ones who are jazzed. That's right. City leaders introduce a new program.